In this video, we're going to look at changing out any of the images that might be contained within any of the templates. For example, you might want to change this character. So I've just left clicked on him to highlight him. Once he's highlighted, you right click and you click change picture. You're then going to be prompted to browse on your computer to where the image is stored. So I've browsed to the image on my computer and I'm going to choose an image and I just click insert. And now you can see that the picture's changed. Now the picture does come in at the same relative size, although because the proportions on this character were quite different to the other one, it's more of a square character rather than being tall and slim like the other character was. You might have to tweak it a little bit to um, get it to the size that you want it to. It's very easy to do. You can just click on these sizing nodes and you can pull him up. You can pull him down. You can pull him out sideways. Or if you use the diagonals, it'll resize in proportion up and down. So because we did it this way, once again, the animations are preserved. If you're not sure, make sure you're on the Animations tab that you have the Animation pane toggled on and you can see which animations have been allocated to this image. Click on Preview and you can see the animations were the same. So as long as you change the pictures that way instead of just, if you just hit the Delete key and then bring in another picture by using the insert function, you can see that the animations have completely gone the same as um, the picture has completely gone. So if you do it the other way, click on the undo key, and here he is back again with the animations. So once again, highlight the image, right click, change picture, browse to your computer where your picture is stored and change it that way rather than hitting the delete key and then inserting a new picture and that way your original animations will always be preserved.